Uh, this is Pro Expert MIDI Academy, and this is episode three of MIDI Mastery in Pro Tools. Uh, today we're going to talk about arpeggiating MIDI in Pro Tools and some of the powerful advanced features that Pro Tools uh, offers for arpeggiation. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I have my previous drum beat up. And the arpeggiation ideas are already starting to pour in. I'm pretty sure all of you are already familiar with what arpeggiation is exactly. Um, so I'm not going to explain what that is. But I am going to explain the three ways that you can achieve the arpeggiation effect in Pro Tools. Uh, the first way is simply to just play it in by hand. Um, this is probably the most common way among accomplished bands. Um, like one band... That, that uses arpeggiation, uh, arpeggiation a lot, even live, is, is Muse. And if you actually go to one of their shows, you can see that there's a guy uh, sitting there. He's not actually a member of the band. He's just a ringer, but he's sitting there just playing the arpeggiations on a keyboard. He's sort of hidden back there. Uh, but you'll see what I'm talking about. So I've created a instrument track with one of my favorites, uh, Monopoly, here. And I picked this instrument because I just am very comfortable with it. Um, I feel like it would be a great example of arpeggiation on a synth. Uh, first, let me find a preset. I decided that I was going to want a bass sound on this. So let me kind of scroll through a couple of these and figure out which ones would be the best examples of arpeggiation. I think I'm going to go with this one. And here we go. Okay, nice uh, quintessential arpeggiated line there, uh, but I played it in myself. That's the thing. That's the most common way to do it. The second way that you find people doing a lot is uh, if you go into the MIDI editor. I check the right track here. All right. Really, uh, sometimes you just want to draw it in. Um, so, let's see how that lines up with what I got so far with the drums. Okay, so I am going to have to adjust that a little bit. Copy. 
paste. Ah, get a nice kind of syncopated thing. Maybe do this. Here I was kind of anticipating the 16th note. It adds a little funkiness to it. Okay, that's the second way. It takes a little bit longer, but in the end, it's a little bit more rewarding because you can actually write stuff in that you technically weren't able to play. Um, and you kind of fool people into thinking that you're, you know, more of a virtuoso than maybe really you are. Um, I think I'm going to go back to what I previously had. I don't have the time to really make this all it can be just yet. I was okay with what I played in earlier. Okay, now the third uh, way is uh, it's a little bit more complex. I'm going to show you here. Started with a brass patch. That's kind of my chord progression. This is diatonic uh, G major. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is uh, this is the most automatic sort of robotic way that I could I could think for this tutorial to tell you guys about MIDI editor. Uh, what track is this? I wish I had really uh, named my tracks. Okay, what I'm going to do is draw in a long chord. How long is this thing? Uh, it goes till measure 18. Okay, so it starts at measure 2. Copy, paste, copy, paste, I. Now here's the cool part. Edit, separate notes on grid. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just systematically erase all the notes that I don't need. Kind of sounds like flatulence, but only when played at short velocities like this. And it's really like a random thing that you want to do with this. You don't want it to be too robotic. Because no two passes will be the same, I guarantee you. Make sure to keep your chords right. Try not to have uh, more than one note at the same time. It's kind of an arpeggiator thing. I think I got it. Let me know if I missed any here, guys. Oops. Yeah, I got a music degree in what for, right?
And there you have it, guys. The three arpeggiation tools in Pro Tools. Hope to see you next time. Thank you.